What a great day and what a fantastic turnout. Thank you all for being here today and sharing in what is a very happy birthday for the Monash Men's Shed. About a year ago, Monash certainly changed for the better with the opening of this fantastic community facility. Today is about celebration. It is about the journey we've come and, more importantly now, where we're going to head. So uh, I thank you all for joining us today and uh, I hope to see you at our next function 10, 15 years' time. We all have our own personal and challenging experiences when it comes to health. My passion for men's health started in an official capacity back in 2008 when Julia was Deputy Prime Minister. I was uh, elected to, uh, with four other, five other ambassadors to go around the countryside uh, and um, talk about men's health and try and formulate a men's health policy. Um, the media immediately went crazy and uh, Jeff Kennett actually stepped in and helped me out and took me under his wing a bit and took me out into some rural areas, so that's how I got with him, involved mainly with uh, Beyond Blue and uh, Jeff is very good to us because I suppose he's been through all that sort of stuff before. Um, but uh, as one of the government men's health ambassadors, I had the opportunity to speak to blokes around the country about their health. What we learned then was um, fed into an Australian first national male health policy launched by Prime Minister 26 Kevin Rudd last year in May. But in fact, I've had a, a huge interest in men's health for most of my adult life, going right back to my scissor-wielding days. As a hairdresser, you hear a lot about women's uh, issues and problems. Many women worry about the men in their lives too. They just don't go and talk about their health or they get frustrated and scary with their men because they don't go and see a GP. After all, what women want to do is go to at home and tell their kids and their dad is gone. They don't want to do that, especially if it's from a disease or an accident that could be preventable. So what, I, what I, was, I found through that time was I was uh, cutting ladies' hair who were worried about their men's health, and I'd go to the pub and had a few beers with a few of the blokes who partners of those women, and they weren't worried about their health at all. They just want to talk about sport. You know? So the whole idea is we need to start talking about our health in many more different ways. We keep things to ourselves. We soldier on, and it is literally killing us. Men's life expectancy is four and a half years less than that of women, we experience 70% of the harm that comes from injuries, 78% of suicides, and 73% of road accidents. We are three times more likely to die of heart disease, like General Monash did. This is a special new story weaving its way through Australian society. It's really taken on a great, uh, a great um, strength. It's quite a success story. Everyone involved should be very proud, and especially you guys here. Here at the Monash Men's Shed, you've done the hard yards of planning and fundraising. Now, for the past year, the shed's been in operation that's making a difference already. It was a textbook example of cooperation between state, local, community groups and sponsors like Westpac and now Bendigo Bank. It shows what we can do when we all work together as Australians. And thank you for the important role you play for the blokes in this community. You're doing the best thing any Australian can do. You're making a difference.